I don't know if you've noticed, but I try very hard not to be controversial on my page. It's because of that I intentionally avoid comparing branches of the military or military jobs against one another. That being said, today we're reviewing the most badass member of the military. Period. This unit is the closest thing that America has to a Spartan warrior. They are quite literally selected at birth. Their service is not voluntary, and not a single one has ever complained. And no, we're not talking about Steve. We're talking about WMDs. The military working dog. The Maligators. The most common breeds are the Belgian Malinois, the German Shepherd, and the Dutch Shepherd. However, the Navy prefers to use the Jack Russell Terrier for its smaller stature and added ferociousness which comes in handy in small spaces like ships. Make no mistake, while he's still man's best friend and he's fucking adorable, this fur musket is loaded at all times. The minute Steve over here gives the order, this 70 pound fur missile is coming at you at 48 kilometers an hour. What the fuck is a kilometer? Hold on, I'll convert it to freedom units. Give me a second. Okay, I googled it. It's 30. 30 miles an hour. I don't give a shit if metric's easier. If it's not good enough to land on the moon first, it's not good enough for my goddamn TikTok page. Sorry about that. Back to the goodest boys. It's this moment right here that I think determines that the military working dog is the most badass military unit on the face of the planet. While there's plenty of badass men and women in the armed forces... There is something truly fucking exceptional about taking out the enemy using nothing but your goddamn face. It's probably the one thing cooler than the MRE spoon. That being said, I'm always willing to be proved wrong. Do you think you've got what it takes to run at the enemy head on at the speed of mock fuck and take the title from this guy? Show me the footage. Okay, fine, we'll still talk about Steve. Now, as you can see, Steve over here is in the Air Force, and he's got the SF on his shoulder, which means he's in the security forces. Which means that while Steve might not take down the enemy with his face, he's still kind of a badass. Who'd have thunk? They're not just letting anybody fire the fur musket. Now, I've never spent a whole hell of a lot of time around these guys. But I've got to assume that they treat their dogs like grunts treat their medics. And what I mean by that is, is this can probably escalate to this very quickly. So in conclusion, don't fuck with America's good boys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content and would like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link in my bio. There's also a link in my bio to my YouTube channel. These might get taken down on TikTok. I have gotten thousands of requests to do different MOSs. I am trying to get to everyone, I promise. Each video takes me approximately four hours to write material and to film. So until next time, thank you for your service.